While planning today's video, it was supposed to be about how to record WhatsApp calls. But along the line, something changed and it became about why you should stop using your phone app to make calls. While researching for the video, I realized something that using the phone app puts you in a very difficult situation. Difficult situation in the sense that it is very easy for one to record your calls while using the phone app, but it's not so easy to record your calls while using WhatsApp calls. Of course, you know, normal cell phone signals are not encrypted. So with anybody that has a little bit of know-how, your calls can be tapped into and recorded, even if it is not on the recipient's device. What I would recommend is Instead of using your phone app to, to make calls, use WhatsApp calls instead. Of course, it's no longer news that both WhatsApp text messages and calls are encrypted end to end. And that would require a lot of resources to be able to tap a WhatsApp call or a WhatsApp message. Another thing I would like you to put into consideration is the ability to record the calls on the recipient side. I have tried a good number of the call recording softwares, or would I say the call recording apps that are available on the Play Store. A good number of them could not record WhatsApp calls. And that's a good thing, because the same difficulty that I face will be faced by anybody that wants to start recording WhatsApp calls. The most interesting part of it is, I had one of the call recording apps start recording sound even before I started making the call. But I discovered that whenever at the recipient's end, it shows disconnected. So because there is a recording app on my sending device, the receiving device just could not hold the call. So which means that WhatsApp monitors to know whether your call is being recorded or not. And when the call is being recorded, it drops at the receiving end. So which means if somebody just downloads any random call recording app and tries to record your WhatsApp call, it's just going to appear as if there is a bad signal on the recipient's end, not knowing that it is WhatsApp that is trying to protect you from the person who is already recording your call. So instead of allowing you to talk and then get your voice recorded, it drops the call. Though it is not impossible to record WhatsApp calls, the resources that will be required to carry out the recording will be quite enormous. Because as it stands now, from my testing, I have actually tested a good number of apps on the App Store that promise to record calls. In fact, about 100% of them can record your normal cell phone call. But at the end of the day, none of them were successful in recording WhatsApp calls. I believe that is some useful information out there for you. But do not rule out the fact that somebody who is very serious about recording your call can still do it with a very simple method of putting the call on, on speaker and then using another device to record both your call that is on speaker and his voice while making the call. Do not think that it's going to be 100% impossible. No, it's not. So at the end of the day, your safety and your security is on you. But I would advise, limit the amount of risk you are putting yourself through by avoiding the normal cell phone calls. Instead, use WhatsApp calls. And the reason I feel you should do that is number one, there is end-to-end -end encryption on WhatsApp. It is difficult to use a third-party app to record your calls on WhatsApp. And it is also difficult to tap into your WhatsApp calls. So that is that. If this video was useful, please smash the like button subscribe to the channel and we will see in the next video.